Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to OLC TV for some more A Well Betrayed DLC for Total War Three Kingdoms as Cao Cao. So, um, last episode, we took Dai off a very, very uh, strong army, and we lost a few more casualties. These last few fights against Yuan Shao have been bloody as hell. I mean, you can just see the casualties 7,000 odd casualties. Um, this one's almost 4,000. This one's almost 8,000 die um unfortunately it doesn't give oh it does yeah almost six thousand casualties it's brutal taking these territories um even you know Grand Shao taking this lost almost four and a half it's a lot of casualties um trade has been suspended with Liu Biao because Kong Rong is taking his territory which has benefits and negatives with it Tao Pi has come of age we need to find him a wife Tao Ang has a wife um we found one last turn and we're marching into Guangling so um yeah, it's all looking good. I'm saving up a little bit of money so I can max out uh, Talpi's army. So I'm not going to spend anything right now. And our food situation doesn't look as positive as it has before, but that's because I'm using a lot of it as trade. Hmm. My tongue is very powerful. I need to um, be slightly wary of my vassal there. He is winning the war against uh, Liu Zhang. Whilst we are losing territory to Shu Xie and Shu Huang. Hu Mao. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll be at war with Hu Mao again. You just keep winning. Shu Huang is there. I don't know where Zhang He has disappeared to. I don't know whether he's still with Yuan Shao or not. Um, I've got no chance to catch him. Wang oh, Song has died. Shu Gong has joined the war. Uh, yeah, okay. That's fine. Commander reports. Yan Bai Hu is in my territory. That's fine. We're at peace. Um, assignments. Han Hao is coming back. We're okay here. Zhang Fang and Shu are there. We can defeat them if we need to. Over on this front, um, we need to keep moving over here. We're going to move slowly so we're constantly replenishing because this will no doubt have Han Sui. And here's a lot of people. So this is Lady Liu. Lady Liu, we captured last time. Um, and she... He's married to Yuan Shao. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Interesting. She's a capture as well, not a not a hire. Um, but we need to look at this, see if we can get some money in. So, Young Zhou is industry and peasantry. Industry and peasantry. We don't have anyone who does industry. Uh, Chen is heavy peasantry, though. So, Chen... Oh, you do, you do have industry. Right, so Lady Liu goes into Yang Zhou. Uh, Xiao goes into Chen. And then we have uh, Commerce. Commerce is Luo Yang. I think Luo Yang has someone there. Yeah, it does. I don't have anywhere else that's like really good commerce. So, what we can do with you is spy. Capture chance is so high though. Ah, oh, the bastard. Right. Well, what about over at Hulmao? Oh, it's so high. No, I'm not gonna. Alright, you guys don't need to do any of that. We have here, we have minus 10 character salaries. Yes, please. A little bit more money. Um, on this front, we can then look at hiring. I want Shen Yo first. Yeah. Now this we want to swap for archers, 
this we want to swap for archers and this I don't have the money to swap for archers but we will want to um Gongling is taken this farmland is gonna f oh, oh. oh that's a shame all right it's fine we'll take this one this turn we'll take the other one next turn really quick Okay. Excellent job. Would be assassin. While establishing control of your newly occupied town, one of your officials is set upon by a particularly burly local. The attacker is a bona fide warrior, but the targeted official is also an ex-soldier, aptly skilled in combat himself. After a spectacular duel, the assailant is eventually subdued and detained. Well done, Gout Dai. The assassin has been dealt with. Um, we just need to take that trade port, and then I'll be much happier. Here... I'm going to want the two armies, and we're going to go straight for Lu Bu when the two armies are together. You guys are ready. You're up here doing not much as well, which is what you should be doing. Now, on this front, we have no one here who wants to be a vassal. Yuan Shao Wu Jing want peace. Yuan Shao will definitely want peace because that's his last territory. Um. But he's not going to want this either. So I'm just going to wipe him out. Um, Duchy of Dong. Negotiate. War coordination. Select target. Uh, oh, you're not at war with Wu Jing. Well, well. Why are you not at war with Wu Jing? Come on. You can be at war with him. Uh, you can be at war with him. Confirm. Issue declaration. And guess what? You can also be at war with him. Confirm. Right. He's getting better with me. Right. Now, negotiate. War coordination. Select target. Wu Jing needs to die. So go um, deal with them there. Ma Tang's alright. You can do your own thing. Lu Bei, I was looking for you. Uh, can't vassalize you. I have nothing to do with you then. Fine. Go away. Good. Right. All of that is dealt with. Stan. Can't remember exactly what year Sun Ren comes of age. Um, but I need to keep looking at Sun Tzu, actually. Because Sun Ren Tsao Pi would be a... Interesting match. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Unless I can beat you into vassalage, it's not going to happen. Peace isn't good enough. Thank you. That's one army down. Why leave Jazz Shu up in the north and just move Tao Tao down to take out Lu Bu? Because Gong Sun Zan and Jiang Yan do not like me. Well, if they win, it'll be because they have those two officers. Their troops shouldn't beat me here. Not in a tool maker. They shouldn't have fire arrows because they're vanguards, unless they're very special vanguards. Their cavalry is a threat. Their infantry does not match mine. Their cavalry is only a threat because I can't. Yeah, I don't have any anti cav. But if I bog them down, I should have them. Right. So they've got two setups here. Right, okay, you guys come back. Pop this. 
Yeah. You can be here. Back. You can be here. Do you know what? Back and back, actually. We'll see if they will come close. You boys can be a little bit further back. I will have some cav over here. I'll have some cav here. Right. Now, over this side, they've got a touch more fire power coming. So, let's have one, two, three uh, over here, four over here. You boys back just a touch. Can't do any formations, unfortunately. Can pop one of these in here. Start battle. So how are you going to approach this? The idea I have is that these towers will be able to shoot at them. I don't want to lose too many men until I absolutely have to. Which is why I've pulled back a bit. They're then going to overextend themselves with their advance. You come. You're ready as well. How you come this way? Right. Here we go. Forward. They come in there anyway. That's fine by me. That's absolutely fine by me. Right. Over this way. You boys can come here. You can move up. You can also move up. Over on this front. They're coming. Form here. You chaps. Whoa, 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 whoa. Halt. Damn it. They got that charge. But we've got them here. Go. They have to charge through that fire, it's going to hurt for them in a massive way. <sighs> Come on, get out of there then. Yeah, vanguards. Bloody annoying. Come on, deal with those archers just a bit. You boys, get out, get out, get out. One of you there, one of you down there. One of you form here. Alright, get stuck in. Go on, chase, 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 chase. Mounted Sabre Militia, go. Come on, chase them. There we go, that's a decent rear charge. Put the Frighteners on them a little bit. Uh, yeah, over here please. Actually no, let's deal with them first. The archers are not actually that much of a problem. How's that charge? Oh, it wasn't great. It wasn't great. Come on, let's force those to retreat. Over here, we've got it. Come on. Uh, sorry. Over here, you boys. Over here. You boys. Over here. Uh, you two. Come on. Out you come. Actually, I sort of want you to take that land. So we can get the uh, arrow towers firing back. Ah, bugs. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Yeah, it's their bloody vanguards creating problems. Right, right around here. Go up that way. 
Come on. Well done, boys. Back this way. Go. Go, go, go. Oh, you as well. Fantastic. Back in, back in, back in. Right. This is dealt with. Absolutely dealt with. I need you over here. Can't see this being a loss. It's not an ideal situation for the cavalry, but we should win. Push forward. Shit. Form here. Good. Right. Into the rear here. Yeah, keep chasing, keep chasing, keep chasing. It's fine. That's a rear charge, but these boys have come back, so you can get in there. Yeah, on the ones that are still standing, please. You guys are all coming. This will be a win. Come on, come down. There's the bloody officers. It's just the bloody officers. Wu Jing himself and Wang Qi. Well. Well. Cav, I don't need you there. Come back this way. So that's Wu Jing. You boys have won. Don't need to worry too much. You boys here. I think you can come over this way. This cav can certainly come down here. They're shattered. Good. Right. Back this way. This cav. Here. You boys at support. So he's the tough one. But with sheer weight and numbers, we might be able to do it. You formed. Yeah, you're 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 all right, actually. You're all right. All those other boys are coming. He's about to run. He is running. We have it! Brilliant. I didn't think they'd be able to win. Yeah, you got 301 kills, but not enough. Wang Qi. Do I need you? Cunning, arrogant, ascetic. Probably not. You're low level. Um, yeah, we'll just take money. Coalition became a military alliance. Uh, Right of balance. Mm hmm. Got a foreman. Foreman's not bad. Torrent. You have architect. Um. Eugene, you don't need one. You. Ah, industry. No. Administration of Chen. I don't have any industry really there in Chen either. Trio Runan. Ministry of Hedong. You have expertise. Do you know what? 
Oh, they're both good though. No, it's fine. Um, we will give it to her. So that she may become a useful person in the near future. Uh, yeah, keep going across here. That'll give me more assignments. Okay, now. Guangling trade port. Seriously, very victory. Don't think so. Just do it. Taken. And we have Guangling. Got a trade port here. That's a chunk of cash, but I could instead recruit her. Um, now, now they are awful, awful soldiers. So, um, I mean, the bandit hunters aren't bad. I don't need bandit hunters though. Right, I'm gonna have to change the rest later. Bandit marauders are not great, but yeah, that army is now looking good. We've taken him out. Will you do as you're told? Vassalize. Pay me for the privilege. Go on. There you go. Immediate peace. Doesn't matter whether they sign it or not. There we go. Anybody else want some? No. What about here on the old peace front? Just Yuan Shao. Okay, well Yuan Shao is about to be destroyed. Hmm, ha <laughs> Uh, I want you in Chen. Doing your lovely extra food. Uh, construction cost, trade influence. Yeah, just do that for a bit then, yeah? Okay, now, you lads, Tatao and Jia Xu, advance as far as you can into your Beiping. We have another turn before we're there, but that's alright. Han Sui has found himself. Oh no, that's not Han Sui, that's him. Okay, that's good news. <laughs> I don't need Han Sui with all of my enemies. And then Lubu is going to get what's coming to him very shortly. Because now this is dealt with, we have an army here. We are going to have three armies go against him. Which is really going to upset him. Still don't quite understand what Yambahu is doing. Ubiao is collapsing. I think when I'm king, I'll be able to vassalize a little bit more easily. I do want to bring in Gongsunzan and Zhang Yan. If I can, just save a war in some really difficult terrain. Uh... Also, it looks like they've got some pretty solid generals as well. Oh, Shun is there now. Where's Lu Bu? Lu Bei is joining the war? Uh-huh. I'm sure there's friends. Ration lost. Trace gain. War coordination lost, no doubt. Okay. So, uh, Zheng Zhang, you can have Tenacity of Steel. And Tsao Ren, you can keep going across here. Good. Okay, now, uh, Tata's army. Oh, he's got bloody Yo Joanna as well. She's like a. Alright, hold on. Let's move Jashu up as well. 
he is just incredible. That must be his last territory, though. It must be. It's like bloody cockroaches. Defeating the Yuan is hard. Okay, we have level ups for Yue Jin. Nice. Um, and we have level up for, where is he? Chong Yu. Uh, Chong Yu, we want Wisdom of the River. There you go. Right. Got your Ping. We just have this now. Oh my god. <laughs> right. He, uh, he's taken some serious killing. Uh, we want to move up to this border here. This trade port can be upgraded. Uh, on this front, we want on the recruitment to switch out four. Yep, that and... May as well, because we've got the money. That. Right. They can wait there for a turn to solve everything. We've got no more money to spend. You can still stay put there. Yeah, bloody hell, bloody hell. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. I guess, like, in history, you know, Yuan Shao, every, it, that whole um, war always gets boiled down to one battle, but it was more than one battle, it was a whole campaign. And Yuan Shao's sons took over, and then Cao Cao exploited their infighting, and then they escaped up north to uh, the Wuhan uh, tribes, and then there was the Battle of White Wolf Pass, where Cao Cao, um, thanks to some brilliant strategic genius by Guo Jia as well, took out a much larger force with a very small force. Um, yeah. Like, it took time. Zheng Jiang and uh, Cao Pi are living in harmony. Well, that's lovely. Uh, huh. And so is a clay pig. Right. Right. You need to die now. Starve out. You need to die now. You really need to die now. Thankfully, he has nothing else up there. Nothing at all. Bye bye. Mung Shan Xiu. Gracious, loyal, honest. And Smuffunk. Uh, yeah, we'll employ. Uh, you don't want to be employed? It's fine. Wodong 其实已终，天下之事瞬息万变。We are now king. You're right. Mandate of heaven. Become emperor of China. Uh, puppet Han Emperor has abdicated. Ma Tong is challenger for the throne. Yeah. Yeah. And Shu Xie destroyed Yuan Shao, unite what is divided. So I need to get rid of the Kingdom of Liang and the Kingdom of Jiu. I'll read that. Now that's Shu Xie. Okay. Right. Well, uh, Jiu Jen. Okay. Manageable. That's manageable. Well, we're at war, so um, only one thing for it. Move down here a little bit. These boys are taken out. We're going to need to bring in some 
friends and allies without question. Why is Galtron there on his own? Wow, we have a lot of stuff to sort out here. Huge amount of stuff to sort out here, in fact. Um, all my administrators need changing everything. Okay, we'll look at that in a second. First and foremost, we've got some trade agreements that we'll need sorting out. <sighs> wow, this is a, a tough situation. Really? A tough situation. So, let's go with you. Uh, offer food. We'll give you enough food to make this trade deal work. There we go. Four. Okay. Um... Jiang Yan is another. He's a straight up never. He really doesn't want that trade deal. They really hate me. Well, this is going to be quite, quite brutal. Military access, create vassal. Wang Lang. 41. Off guarantee of autonomy, makes it 28. He has food as well, so that's a tough one. Hmm. Okay, well, this is going to take some thinking. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. I, um... Yeah, I need to play some politics or do something, because I'm not in the world's greatest position here. Look, Shanshu, Gong Sun Du has... Gong Sun Kang... Uh, of course, he has Gong Sun Kang. Chen Wu Jiang Lu. Jiang Yang has someone too. Uh, Chen Yang. Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't even have any turncoats I can work with. Uh, Xin Yu is on his own. Um, with no allies. This is going to be an interesting fight that he needs to make over there. I do have a lot of money, however, so I could potentially raise another army in short <clears throat> uh, notice I still want to crush Lubu that's personal that's going to happen what we do up here I don't know but we need to do something um, and I think I need to start playing a little bit of politics to uh, upset this region so everyone's at war with everyone else the Han Empire is, I believe, no longer my vassal, um, but we have a trade agreement, so oh, are they still? No, they're not. Yeah. So that's why I'm losing so much money. Anyway, interesting. This is the hardest kingdom start I've had in a long time. I'm looking forward to it. But, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time for more Total War. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye-bye.